Hello friends, this is Imran. In this video, we are going to learn how we can fix FBX or STL file into Materialize Magix for 3D printing. So let's go to Home menu, Import Part, click on that. These are all the formats which Materialize Magix uh, support. So this is the FBX file I'm going to open. Select, Open, OK. Whoa now you can see like uh, okay it is actually showing there are like so many parts and it is showing dimension of all the parts go to analyze close that part dimension and now you can see the model is actually in a very bad condition and we need to fix it really quickly so first of all just select the full model and then go to home merge part once that is done you can see now it is only one part before it was like so many so uh, now check what is the dimension of the part you can check from analysis part dimension so yes it is quite big i need to rescale it go to position rescale you can also uh, press shortcut that is control plus r i want the model to be 200 uh, mm 20 centimeter in height uniform selection apply close now move the model to the 000, 000 coordinate right now you can see that the original coordinate it is far away from that from that so press t 0 0 0 and then you have set the coordinates check minimum okay apply and then close you can see now it is on the 000 coordinate now press q to extend to, to zoom on the model uh, right now i don't want to see the this dimension go to analyze and uncheck this part dimension you can see the model is uh, really in a very bad form and we really need to fix this file very quickly for 3d printing so uh what we can do it uh, it is also open from bottom first of all i'm going to close it from the bottom so i want to check the dimension uh, point to point analysis major distance from point to point click one point here click the other point here it is somewhere around 120 mm dia okay now go to position home uh yeah and then uh, click on the click create go to cylinder and then dia i wanted 120 and height i can give somewhere around 5 mm or 3 mm okay now you can see we have got the model okay now select this model go to the bottom view move put it in the center yeah it's done now i want to merge also these two parts select the model you can see the uh, we have checked both the parts and then merge it's done now i want to do shrink wrap so go to fixing option string wrap there is a shortcut for that that is w now you can see uh, i want a high quality string wrap and i also also want to increase these thicknesses because like i believe the, these will not print if i want to check what is the thickness of these parts uh major thickness click on it that is 1 mm i want at least uh, somewhere around 2 mm for these all parts so um the level the more for this operation you will need 7.06 gb of the memory because i have set the quality to the very highest uh, points so i can check uh, i am going to write it 0 0.04 maybe now that is even like if your system is very good you can actually use it like uh, you can uh, do the shrink wrap to the 31 GB 40 GB as well, but it will take some time so right now I'm going to uh, For me, I think 0 0.05 will be fine 
and then here I want to give the extra thickness so here we have already checked the measurement that was uh, 1 mm of this part I want to make it 0. Point, no, sorry I want to make it 2 mm so if I increase 0. 0.5 so it will be increasing like from all of the sides so it will in the end the resulting of this uh, measurement the thickness will be somewhere around 2 mm and that is actually uh, okay for me for uh, SLS printing so okay all the settings are done now click apply this operation take long okay no problem continue it will take some time and then in the end the model will be fixed very quickly You can see like uh, how quickly it is doing the shrink wrap. yeah perfect now you can see the model is fixed it is in a really good quality which is suitable for my SLS machine and if I need to check these parts thickness it's perfect for me so you can see like that that is how you can easily uh, make the model printable and fix all these issues really quickly it has took took me really a uh, short time for that now there is one more thing if i want to make hollow from the bottom like i want to make it shell now click home screen uh, select this uh, mark plane option select the option from bottom okay then go to hollow here you will find this shell option i want the thickness somewhere around uh, 2.5 detail i can increase to 1 mm it will act actually boost up my process and then uh, click ok perfect now you can see even the model is shell from the bottom and it is really in a good form so that's it thank you for watching my video if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment section thank you